up everybody back with another tech tip um so another pc restore anyway the laptop i got this old toshiba satellite c55d i'm sure a lot of you had one of these back in college the around the 2016 era um i'm completely revamping this i'm not done as you can tell uh, i'm still in the process of working on it but I am going to show you the breakdown, tear down to install an SSD. 16 gigabytes of RAM can fit in these C55Ds. This is the C55D slash A. So right there's a little uh, little look into it. I used this as a studio laptop back in the day, just with the plain 8 gigs, before I really knew what I was doing with the PC. And uh, I'm going to show you how I got this thing beefed up to do a clean install of Windows 10. It would not download Windows 10 to save my life. I think it was a hard drive malfunction, so I'm going to do a clean install on an SSD, boost that up, and then boost the RAM, see what we get out of it. But uh, yeah, take a look. I am um, I'm upgrading to Windows 10 from Windows 8.1 because Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 are becoming discontinued in January of 2023. So this is something that you want to do if you have an old system immediately so that you can keep your product key and you do not have to buy the Windows OS because that shit is $139 that you do not want to pay to upgrade. All right, so to replace the RAM and the SSD is pretty simple in this machine. I'm going to tear completely apart to dust it, but all you have to do on this Toshiba is pop the battery, all right, unlock it with these two, and then pull right here in the center. So here you go. That will pop out, and then you'll pull this plate off. There's one screw right here. Make sure you pop from here and here, move it, and you wanna flap it out like this because there's tabs on this side that fold up, pull that off, and then right here's your RAM. To replace the RAM, push these pins right here, push them both out, it'll pop the RAM up, and then you'll do the ones underneath as well. Boom, just like that, you'll pull this RAM out, well, there it is. There's your RAM, replace it with the new. Now this right here has got the one screw. So I'm not gonna go through what, making you watch me unscrew all these. Pull that screw, then there's two tabs right here, two rubber tabs, you'll pull those up and then you'll pull the SSD out like this. It'll be in this cover. So right here's the old hard drive. I'll pull that out. Install the new one, put that cover over it. Right here on the sides, there's pins. So it actually folds. There's metal pins right here that'll fold into the new hard drive. You'll push it in with like a flat head. So as you can see, I got precision screwdrivers that I'll press back into the new hard drive to set that. That's just a coating, like a static coating, so that you don't get static electricity built up in here. But that's it for that. If you want to take out the rest, there's screws all the way around here. So uh, there's 10 screws all the way around the outside that you'll take. You'll pop this bottom plate off and you can clean the fans out. That's what I'm gonna do. I have a fan right here. And over here, this motherboard, I wanna clean that up. But that's it as far as replacing. And then right here, I have Windows 10. The ISO file, I will plug in the description. Um, all you do is download that ISO file onto a hard drive, at least eight gigabyte. They recommend 16. I only had an eight laying around, so I did it on this. This is my boot drive. And then um, once you have that plugged in, log into your BIOS after you have the new SSD and the new RAM in, go into the BIOS, change your boot. So scroll over to boot and then move your USB drive, which would be an eight gigabyte, 16 gigabyte drive up to your boot drive and you can install it onto your hardware from there. So whether you put a hard drive or an SSD, you can boot Windows 10 just by a USB or you can do the disk option. But this is a way you can take a faulty hard drive and then make this PC just brand new with a clean install, no bloatware. But that's it for that. All right, one last thing. These are the parts that I am installing. This is an Acer SATA drive uh, SSD. This is only a 240 gigabyte, which I don't really need. I'm going to turn that old hard drive. I'm going to wipe it and format it and turn it into an external. This is just a boot from so that all my programs will boot easily. And this is the RAM that I got. It's Sodom. Uh, 1600 megahertz. This is 16 gigabytes of RAM of this SODEM type. And this is what I'm going to plug in instead of the eight gigabytes that I had before this old Kingston that came with this stock. So just to let you know the types, I will link these two, uh, the Amazon link. So you guys can buy them if you do have the same brand computer. 
Um, just wanted to plug that just to let you know. I will give you all the information in the links below. Thank you all. Peace. All right, so here's how you boot once you get into BIOS. Once your system starts, tap F2 or F F12 to get your BIOS to pop up. Um, now, when you're in boot, go over here, scroll over in BIOS to boot. Now, you see the USB flash drive. Now, F5 or F6 is going to move it up or down on a Toshiba. So we're going to put that flash drive up top so that it boots from that. And then F10 to save and exit. All your commands will be at the bottom right here. Right down there. But now, once I boot from this USB drive, where I couldn't get it to boot before, it should load up Windows 10. And then uh, set you up through the download so that you can paste that into your hard drive. So we'll see. It should. Once the Windows setup pops up, then you're good. Good to go. And voila. Now you just download this onto the hard drive that you have selected or the SSD that you installed. Once you download Windows, you will have a clean install and you can debloat that as well later down the line if you want. But thank you guys for watching. This is just a way that you can enhance immensely the power of this PC. This one right here has got the AMD A6 5200, but I'm hoping once I get all of this sorted out, this thing will run like a scalded dog for a PC. I sold my laptop uh, that I used to use for the gaming channel, Got had this one laying in a closet, so we'll see. I'll put a video up and see how snappy it is once Windows is down. All right, so this is the Toshiba with the SSD installed. Let's see how quick this thing boots. Three, two, one. Thirteen point two eight, and when it hits right there, it's ready to log in. So thirteen seconds in a boot up with the sixteen gigs of RAM and the SSD installed and a fresh install of Windows ten. This thing is snappy. As you can tell, everything you want is there when you need it. Uh, Discord, let's launch it. Try and give you an idea. I mean, does everything I need it to, honestly. Of course, it's got to download the updates when it first runs, but. Done. Edge. You got to think it's still booting up too. I mean, but with the SSD, you should have seen it beforehand. I didn't have a good enough hard drive to make it run beforehand. It was lagging out real bad, but yeah, this thing's good to go. It's a little beast. I mean, the RAM's only at 1,333 megahertz, but it's an easy way to update your Toshiba if you have a faulty hard drive. Uh, this helped me. But if you need any other links, let me know. I will put them in the description or I'll put them in the comments for you. You guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Peace. Thanks if y'all are watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like these tips, if you like how simple that I make it. Um, let me know anything else I can do because I'm really looking to improve. Uh, I just want to broaden my horizons, learn new things, and I like teaching other people along the way so they don't have to do the research. Thank you guys. Peace.